Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Kadero Hudson, the wingman. I am here. I'm back. You know, I took a couple week hiatus. Your boy is, is getting ready for Brazil. I'll be in Rio, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro in three weeks. The countdown. Also, what I had to do is, is I had to uh, get a new laptop. I, I dropped my laptop earlier today. And, and most importantly, all things happen for a reason. And, and me saying that is that I had that laptop for about five to six years. And it was a Chrome book or it was something. It was Chrome something. It was HP something, whatever, right? Now, I got this new uh, AM, AMD Ryzen. And I, I'm, I'm hitting at it because this new uh, GPU processor on this new laptop of uh, this new Lenovo that I have is pretty, pretty sweet. Not going to lie. And which which is, is going to lead into me buying this AMD GPU process leads into things that I've bought into my dividend growth portfolio. Let's dig into it. The purpose of this video is I just dropped a thousand dollars into the market. Yeah. So I, I, I typically I drop a thousand dollars per month into the market. But this time I was moving uh, money around. And I'm going to show you real quick. So as you see, I was mo moving money around. And I dumped, uh, for, as you see, 5000 into this bucket right here. And this, and in this bucket, I'm, I'm using this $5,000 as more like a, like a bank account. Because if I keep money in, into my regular savings account, I'm receiving no type of interest. At least here. By me keeping my, my money, keeping some money into SPACs, I'm going to be receiving roughly 4.95 to 5% interest per. So then that's going to be split on a, on a monthly basis. So starting on May 1st, I'm going to receive my first interest payment of roughly like $21, $22. That's better than holding nothing, right? Okay. But most, but the reason why we're here today, I wanted to show you guys uh, first off, roll to uh, 100,000. That's that's going to be my next my next video. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna drop. We're gonna we're gonna get this money. Uh, but yeah, the thousand dollars, the thousand dollars. So we we're gonna we're gonna go right here and we're gonna sh show you real quick that I had dro dropped. There you go, right here. I dropped a thousand dollars right here on April 22nd. But I also dropped a thousand dollars at the beginning of the month as well, as you see. I uh, ah on April tenth, I uh, I have deposited my regular monthly nine hundred dollars into account. But I I had a, I had some extra money. I had some extra money, so I I deposited a thousand dollars into this account. And when when I deposit. I bought some new stocks. So hopefully you guys are excited uh, for my dividend growth strategy that I'm, I'm planning on doing right now. Let's, let's, let's go in deeper into the portfolio to show you what new stocks that, that you see that you probably have, have not seen. Uh, we're going to get it going real quick. So in my dividend growth portfolio right here, because uh, you know the market, the market was been up and down, up and down. Uh, as of today, the market was up today. Uh, it's it's it stopped at fifty four thousand about fifty five. Well, it, it, it was fifty four thousand yesterday. I'm at fifty five thousand four hundred twenty two uh, twenty two dollars, and it's it's only what May, it's only April four twenty, uh, April twenty six right now. And then on my next check in two weeks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop another nine hundred dollars because that's my regular payment. So hopefully, I should be at, at the end of the year. I should be cross fingers with my deposits of a, of around nine to nine hundred fifty dollars per month, and hopefully we get you know this bull market or whatever. Hopefully I get to around sixty five thousand, or with with the market gains, hopefully I get to around maybe seventy thousand. I'm trying to get this portfolio to a hundred k. I am I'm trying to get this portfolio to hundred k. And then I'm also goes trying to also save and get my retirement accounts up, my Roth IRA, my taxable account, my 401k, because I really need to hit those, let those hit 
a uh, hundred thousand as well. But I'm also buying Bitcoin, so so I'm doing a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to refocus right now. Uh, if you take take a step back, my one year is eighteen point six seven percent. That is outstanding, right? <laughs> I mean, that's that that's better be that's better than. 10%. The, the, the S&P 500, the, mark, the stock market simply, typically uh, produce or give you rate of return of around 8 to 10%. I was able to get 18.67%. I'm not complaining. Year, year to date, I'm upwards 3.6%, uh, but, but you will see that the S&P 500 is actually beating me roughly, uh, if you do the, do the math, roughly maybe whatever. Uh, two point five, two point seven, whatever percent more than I don't now doing, but I'm, I'm going to shake it up. I, I'm going to add some, some stocks into my dividend growth portfolio that's going to level out. So, so what you see is that with the with the thousand dollars that I dropped into the market last week, I added to uh, extra spaces, which, which is which is a, a REIT. I added SCHD into my portfolio. I added this monthly pair. It's a high yield uh, cover call ETF called Spy Spy Eye. This bad boy, the combination of Spy Eye and uh, me having growth growth slash dividend paying stocks like uh, the, the Magnificent Seven, like the Apples, Microsoft. I'm talking about. Let me show you. So when I say all this, I'm saying like right here, like Microsoft, Apple. You see right here, I'm building my Meta position. Last time I did my video, Meta was at uh, 600. Uh, I, I I got up to, to roughly 1,256. Uh, it's down from from my position, which means that it's, it's it's cool for me because I I I foresee Meta in the future. As they, the, the they, what I mean, the Congress and the government, as they begin to underway with trying to ban TikTok, I foresee that Meta and, and all of these different social media companies are going to try to take a piece of the market share. And then I foresee um, Meta to continue to produce rate of returns of 30 to 45%. And so by from my position, by it being down right now, the more I dollar cost average and put a hundred dollars to a two hundred dollars into it and get this position down when it blows past my cost basis of five hundred seven dollars i can easily see meta like next year around the time six hundred dollars and by the time look i i, I can uh can attain maybe five to seven shares and then it grows six hundred dollars six hundred dollars times seven eight shares do the math i'm also focusing on American Express, getting my American Express shares up. I added a new position in Enterprise uh, Products Partners, high a high yielder. So uh, this this go round, when I when I dropped the nine hundred dollars in the beginning of the, of the month, it was more so low yielders of uh, Microsoft. It was I bought I bought some some Caterpillar. I bought some some Costco as you see right here. Costco Costco's is is uh, is at 1200 dollars and $225. And uh, I, I put, I dumped right here, I, I dumped $400 into uh, Microsoft. I dumped $400 into Apple since, since it was down in my first go round. This last go round, when I, when I dropped the, the, the $1,000, I was like, man, I, I, I want to, let me, let me put some in waste management. Let me put some in JP Morgan Chase. Let, let me, Start a new position with Spy Eye, uh, SCHD. Uh, I dumped something in Meta, and then I, oh, I also uh, started a position. You see right here with Mo Altria Group. Uh, I could I could have did five hundred dollars, but I actually did a, a whole thousand dollars, and and so my year to date dividend. I'm at $1,180 right now so far with all of my purchases of me dropping that $1,000. And real quick, just so you guys can see, I am $7,000 away from the illustrious having $800,000 net worth I'm building right here. And to dig a little bit further, 
into my dividend growth portfolio right here. I have a five year dividend growth of 9%, roughly 9 to 10%. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm highly diverse. I I lean uh, upwards, more closer to information technology with a sprinkle of everything else, consumer staples, uh, communication services, et cetera, et cetera. And as you see right here, I uh, I was, because my, my yield was under 2%, I wanted to, to, to get this to close to 2.5% to have a portfolio of a, of a yield of 2.5 percent but and then have a yield on cost of 10 and, and more that is my goal that is my goal and I, i'm working on it but it's just so addicting to buy stocks like google and meta and apple because these are growth companies they pay a little dividend but when you buy a lot of those companies it grows fast which is going to shoot the dividend yield down and then you when you buy more higher yield stocks Increase your dividend yield, yeah, but you have to think about tax as well. So it's when you play financial advisor for your portfolio, these are the type of things that you have to just think about in the back of your mind as you construct your portfolio. But yeah, but that that is that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I'm about to do my next video about uh, road to 100k and my, the net worth uh, video. We close, we making it, and we build it. Why are we flying it, baby? Peace.